Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on using GoalSeek in Microsoft Excel. My name is Renee Clark. GoalSeek, what is it? Well, GoalSeek is one of the built-in what-if analysis tools found in Microsoft Excel that will assist you in determining the input values for a desired end result. According to Microsoft Excel help, when you use it is if you know the result you want from a formula, but you are not sure what input value the formula requires to get that result, you can use the Goal Seek feature. For example, you want to buy a new car, perhaps, and you need to borrow money to do so. You know how much you can afford to pay monthly for your car payment, but you want to know how much you can borrow and for how long you can borrow the money. You can use Goal Seek to help you determine this. In business, you might use GoalSeek along with your income statement spreadsheet to help you determine your break-even point in units sold. To use GoalSeek, you start with a worksheet that works, such as the income statement that shows current revenues and expenses. Then, to use this, you need to look at the data ribbon on the data ribbon over in the data tools group you will find the what if analysis drop down. From here you simply select the goal seek option. This then opens the goal seek dialog box and from here you can then plug in the needed information. In my income statement example, if I'm trying to determine the number of units I must sell in order to break even. I would put as my set cell net income, then I would move down to my to value section, and in here I would set that to zero. This would tell me that I'm seeking the result when I have net income set to zero. Next I would move to the by changing cells selection area, and I would select the cell in my worksheet that represents units sold. Then I click OK, and it will bring up the break-even point in units sold. Let's take a look. In this worksheet, I have an income statement. It is a working income statement complete with appropriate formulas. And I want to determine how many widgets do I need to sell in order to break even. So from my working spreadsheet, I'm going to the data ribbon, and here I will select the what if analysis drop down and select goal seek. This opens up my goal seek dialog box. My set cell in this example is going to be B23 because I want my net income to be set to zero to determine the number of units I need to sell to break even. So my set cell is B23, the net income calculation. I'm tabbing down to two value, and here I'm going to put a zero because, again, I'm looking for a break even point. Then I'm moving to by changing cell. And the cell I want to change is the number of widgets sold, which in my case is in cell B4. You'll notice it puts these in as absolute cell references. Then I simply click OK, and it calculates a solution, and when it has reached it, it brings up the Goal Seek status dialog box, telling me that a target value of zero has been reached. And I can see in my spreadsheet here, now in cell B4, in order to break perfectly even and cover all of my costs, I must sell at least 2,534 units. If my expenses change, obviously I will need to recalculate that. So again, to access Goal Seek, I go to the Data Ribbon, go to the What If Analysis option in the Data Tools section and select Goal Seek. Fill in the appropriate set cell, the two value, in the By Changing cell. It will then calculate my options. More of my lectures can be found on YouTube by searching for Renee K. Clark and then subscribing to my channel. You will find a variety of Excel lectures available as well as selected other lectures.